So how deep are we out here? We're at 165 feet of water right now. And what's the water temperature? 56.45. So almost 56 and a half. Right on. Kind of where we've been getting our fish the last few days, so I figured it's a good starting point. Right on. Jared. Go. What do you do different uh, out here in the ocean versus uh, in the river when you're fishing a spin fish? Man, so the number one thing that I do different out here, actually two things I do, is um, I add hoochies to all my spin fish, and so it's real simple. They come uh, stocked from the factory if you rig a rig one with one bead on them. I simply just slide a hoochie over that bead, and then I slide another bead between the hoochie and the spin fish, and that's a huge ticket out here. That hoochie on the back makes a big difference. And me, personally, I just speed up. Um, you know, your standard, like, 1.7 to 1.9, thump, 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 is not what I do out here. I'm more of a thump, thump, thump. I like a little bit faster. I like to cover more water. When you find them, mark them, stay on them, and just uh, keep throwing the boat. But, yeah, those are two spinfish tips, for sure. The hoochie and speed up and rods fold. So I'm, you know, as you know, I'm a bead guy. So oh, yeah. it's very specific to the type of bead you like to use. Not really, man. I just matched the hatch. I did not read the Randy Bonner uh, bead book um, for my presentation on this one. But maybe I should have. But uh, for the beads, just match the hatch. Me, a lot of times the under bead that I put underneath the head of the hoochie, I put a glow bead if I can. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But uh, usually something around that six millimeter is perfect size. Six millimeter. Yeah, gotcha. and uh, you know, natural row color, I guess, would be for you, Randy, just to make sure that we keep it, you know, PC. <laughs> And what speed are you trolling at here, Jake? Uh, we're going against the current right now, so our flashes are working a little harder. So going against it, it's about 1.7, but you can watch the gear, yep. and they're thumping pretty hard because there's a pretty good current coming from the north right now. So it's all depending on if you're going with the current or against it. If I'm going with it, probably two and a half to three miles an hour. Going against it, it's about half that speed. Right on. So what size is that? That's a two. It's a 2.0. It's running 2.0s and 2.5s right now. I like the, the smaller size ones. Seem to get a few more fish out here on them. And big Chinook, too. Even on the 2.0s. I've been whacking big kings this year on them. Buoy 10, the halo, I'm out here. Celette's all over the place. doesn't matter. But it's... And that pose is the leader length there. That's an exact measurement right there. <laughs> <laughs> Your leg might be a little mine longer really than mine. Longer. <laughs> <laughs> what size leader is that? 40 pound STS fluorocarbon. That's kind of. And what do you run in the rivers? So I run I run 40 in the ocean as well, but um, up river, like, you know, basically from uh, the Story Megler Bridge all the way up to Brewster, we run 30 on uh, all of our spin fish. And a lot of times it's because I'm fishing like certain tributary fisheries, and so I'm going slower, and that 30 kind of has a little bit more snap to it at a slower speed you know versus the 40s a little bit stiffer so we found that the 30 pound flora works best up river from basically Bonneville all the way up to Brewster so that's what I run there out here I run the 40 just because you go through so many fish and so many leaders but I don't guide and so everybody that I take fishing they're seasoned fishermen and so I don't really have to worry about them you know not fighting a fish correctly or thumbing the drag or any of that stuff so um, but Jacob seems to have his program dialed in I have a feeling that we're going to get some rods starting to smash here real quick don't be eating lunch before you know it. <laughs> so what colors do you like out here, Jake? Uh, pinks. Pinks and blues. Chartre a little bit of chartreuse involved with it. This one's really got my attention right now. It's got a mix of everything. Uh, I think we hooked those last two on... One was on red and chrome, and the other one was on pink and chartreuse. So. And what's this other one you're rigging up here? Purple punch. Purple sticky punch. Yeah, there it is. That thing is fishy. So particular colors for Chinook and Coho? No. I've been Anything? whaling on Chinook on this pink 2.0 with a white hoochie day after day on it. And I don't think it really matters out here color-wise for between the two. Right on. How far behind the boat do you run for one of the others? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. My best rod this year has been... 10 or 12 feet whaling on shift this year with you know 10 ounces of lead. They come, they're up higher than most people think out here. They'll be right up on the surface. Hopefully, we can show you guys here in a minute. There's a fish. Oh my goodness. Get up there, Dad. I'm gonna knock that guy. No hurry. 
Double. Double. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Double. See if we can get a triple. Give me a leave mine then. Yeah, came off. Uh, just, yeah, came off. Oh, Double came oh, off. Oh, darn it. They were t t t t teasing us. Double, dude. Oh, there we go. Double. Take it, Hunter. Yeah, that's all you. I'll go, Take I'll it. Film. I'll film. I got it. <laughs> I just caught like three yesterday. I think it came off anyway. He's still there. He's just swimming with you. I got a double to Randy Bonner. Whoa. It's just right here. All the way to that lead. Give me a nice one. Nice one. No, you're good. I'm in the way. Double spin fish right there with Randy yeah. Bonner. I've never done that before. He did really good on his though. I was proud of him. <laughs> Stuff this thing as much as you can get in there. Back together, put it back on the flasher, and away we go. Back out in the water, get a couple more. Somebody got to hold the camera. Who's <laughs> <laughs> steering the boat? Fish, fish, whatever. Oh, come on, walk up here, son. Walk up here. Dude, these are tanks falling together. <laughs> come on. Oh, 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 oh. Get it, Randy. Oh, two, oh, two. Oh, come on, come on, come on. This was a 70 feet, dude, and ran all the way out. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> that was utter chaos, dude. <laughs> you gotta love that, man. When every, every rod buries people are doing circles, that's one good thing about being 6 foot 10 is I can just work over the top of everyone. Now you're 50 50. Huh? Well, that's that's the bag that's yeah, grab it, grab the end of the basket. Yeah. I don't want to break the net. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, look at that thing! Good night! That is a tank right there. That is a monster, bro! That is a monster! There's so many hooks. Oh. <laughs> kind of scared. Oh Here, my let's, lord! Let's, let's whack a few of these before we start getting in there. Right. Whew! Dude! That's a giant coho. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love this, man. Sunshine and coho. Oh, Just God. killing it. That should have been a Beatles song. <laughs> Sunshine and coho. Oh. Look at that. Whack, whack, whack. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a tanker. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun that's with that mess. I'm grab my phone real quick. <laughs> that's actually why I rent clips. Uh, everything. Yep. Three. That's what we need to go. Okay. What time is it? 
So what size hooks do you use? Out here I'm running four aughts most of the time um, and in the rivers too because I run the hoochies on our coastal estuaries I run the hoochies with them too so it kind of covers up that bigger hook gap and put a little more wood to those bigger fish around the logs and stuff like that so I like running a little heavier hook. You change hook size along with the size of the bait? Sometimes depending on if it's like the two side, the 2 I'll put three aughts with it run those little smaller hooks with that. Captain gets one. Grab the net deck and. I got it. <laughs> See how this goes. I don't know what I'm doing. That was a deep one too. Huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was the 50 foot. I forgot that put that up 50. Yeah, look at him ring that thing in there. Bam! Like a professional bass fisherman, man. He just skied that thing right in. <laughs> Ran the boat. Hey, the hey, Look at that. Even better. Uh, it's purple sticky punch. Yeah. And, and Smurf mumps. And Smurf mumps. It's so pretty. Yeah, that's the thing. I I have a hard time killing them because they are so cool, but man, do they taste good. Yeah, they really Figuring it out. I haven't sit down. I can't feel my feet. The toad. See, this is when you're 6'10, you can jig out one side of the boat and then a fish on the other. Okay. Thank you. Thank nice you, Yep. Hmm? Too croaking. Mm-hmm. There you go. 